Hi, this will be a short video on HTML, sort of just a quick introduction, okay? So what is HTML? Well, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's the, uh, the language of the web. So when you create web pages or you visit web pages in your browser, uh, essentially those web pages are written in HTML, the browser reads the HTML and displays it, okay? That's kind of the nutshell, super short version, right? So how is HTML written? Well, HTML is written in plain text, okay? So you can use any plain text editor to edit your HTML pages and create them. Um, a rich text editor like Microsoft Word or um, TextEdit or, uh, you know, Apple's um, Pages or whatever it's called, uh, you know, you can't use those editors because they add an, a lot of extra information to the page. They don't write just plain text, okay? I'm going to use Atom, which is a text editor by GitHub, and I'll launch it here. And you can see it just starts with a regular document. And um, Atom kind of manages groups of files, so you can have it manage a whole folder. I'm going to go to the desktop here and make a new folder, and I'll call it uh, HTML example. And then what I'll do is in Atom here, I'll save this file into the HTML example folder, okay? And I'll name my file index.html. So HTML files should end with the extension .html, okay? Um, they're just plain text, but they should have the .html extension. And that way the browser, when it reads a file, it'll know that it's an HTML file, okay? So we'll save it there. And you can see here's my folder here. And if you have a folder full of files that you're going to work on, maybe your whole website's in here, you can drag it on top of Atom. And what will happen is that folder will open here, and it'll list all the files inside. And then you can just click on a file to edit it, OK? So anyway, there's, there's index.html. So what does HTML look like? Well, HTML is created with tags, OK? And the tag might look like this. Let me click in here, write a tag. This is the paragraph tag. So if I had a paragraph of text, like um, this is a paragraph, then uh, you know I would write the text inside the paragraph tag. Okay. I mean, compare that to this. What if I say um, this is a paragraph? Okay. Here, the tag. Um, adds meaning and context and structure to this paragraph. So we know that the paragraph begins here and ends over here, where here, you know, I just have some plain text on the page, and I just know it's a paragraph because I'm reading English, but, you know, there's no added meaning, right? Okay? And using HTML, though, we can give, um, we can give this structure, okay? And we're also giving it meaning. Okay, so this means it's a paragraph. If I put something else here, if I said, you know, the Q tag, right, kind of the backwards P, right, this means it's a quotation, okay? Or maybe if I put it this way, if I say um, block quote, right, that's another kind of quote, right? Um, you can see that this is something different than a paragraph, right? It's a block quote. So let's switch back to the paragraphs here. I'm going to put those back in there and undo, right? So this is what HTML is all about. You write a tag, and you surround an element, some context or content on your page, and the tag gives it context, OK? So in this case, I'm giving this paragraph meaning. I'm saying that the text here, these four words, are a paragraph, OK? Um, tags always begin with the little arrow and end with the arrow, and you put the name of the tag in between. And then tags usually come in pairs. There's an opening tag and a closing tag. And the closing tag looks the same as the opening tag, but it has a little slash in it. Um, you don't need to put any spaces around there. As a matter of fact, I would say don't put the space around there. It kind of ruins it, right? But, uh, you know, just always write it like this with no spaces, OK? Tag, should all, tag name should always be lowercase, too, OK? So just keep them all lowercase. Um, so what else can you do with this? What if I say, like, this is a paragraph? What if I wanted to add some, you know, um, some more, like, communication to this, right? So, I mean, you could read this in a lot of ways. Like, you know, an actor might say, this is a paragraph. Someone else might say, this 
is a paragraph, you know, or whatever they're going to say, right? Um, you know, the text by itself doesn't include any meaning, but when we use HTML, we can give it meaning, right? So if I want to put the emphasis on this is a paragraph, right? And then maybe I'd emphasize it like this, okay? Right? Or I might want to make another paragraph. Maybe I'll make another one down here like this. I'll say, um, I like carrots. Okay? But maybe I want to say, like, I really like carrots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say strong. Right? I'm, essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying that I'm, I'm saying the word like in a strong voice. Okay? Let that sink in for a minute. Right? And then here, I'm emphasizing the word is, right? Maybe that doesn't make any sense. Maybe I should instead emphasize the word paragraph, right? So I'll move this over here like that. And now the emphasis is on the word paragraph, right? Maybe down here, I want to, um, I don't know, let's see. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll emphasize carrots just for fun, right? So I could do that like this. Okay, and so in this sentence, I'm saying, you know, or in this paragraph, I'm saying like, hey, I like, and I'm saying like strongly or with a strong voice, and then I'm saying, you know, carrots, and I'm emphasizing the word carrot, okay? And so in a lot of ways, you know, you would speak to people like this, right, rather than like that. Right? Because this has no meaning. There's no, there's no emphasis. I'm not saying any word more strongly than another word. Right? And that's what HTML is all about. Okay? So if you're worried about how things look on the page, like when you actually see this in the browser, the HTML has nothing to do with that. HTML is all about communication and all about um, you know, adding structure to how you're communicating, okay? Um, when you want to design things on the page, you're going to use CSS, okay? So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets, and it's a separate component. It's totally separate from the communication here, and there's, there's a lot of reasons for that, and we'll talk more about them later, but essentially, um, it's a good plan. It works well, but the visual design and the presentation, the way that something looks, is handled by CSS, and in HTML, what we do is we use these tags to, to mark up our page and add context and meaning and structure to the content that we have on the page, okay? And, you know, like, I'll, 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 like I said earlier, and I'll, I'll just repeat myself, um, tags always begin like this. They have a little arrow and an ending arrow, and then they have a name. And there's lots of tags. There's, you know, here we have the P, the M, and the strong. And tags always have a closing, or not always, but most tags have a closing tag. And the closing tag looks like the opening tag, except it has a little extra slash in it, okay? So just one quick rule here. Um, we can't do this. Tags can't overlap. And what that means is the P tag here must contain any other tags that are inside it. So this emphasis tag has to close before the P tag because it's inside the P tag. So overlapping would mean that this emphasis tag may be closed here, and that's not legal. Okay, I think even, you know, well, I guess Adam's not going to check that for me, but, uh, but you can see like this one overlaps the P tag, and the P tag is overlapping the emphasis tag. Okay, so that's not allowed, um, but this could be inside here, and then that would be okay. Okay, so anyway, so that's a quick introduction to HTML, and we'll, we'll do some more details on this in, in the future, but that just should get you started, okay? Thanks for watching.